in today's foodie adventure, we tried two HelloFresh recipes. The first one was pasta parmesan, and the second one was veggie chili. They both turned out pretty good. I didn't have a problem so much with the food and the shipping and everything. They sent really great ingredients, really high quality, quality ingredients. Um, and before I launch into anything I have to say about HelloFresh and the experience, let's taste test because that's what it's about. So let's try the pasta parmesan first. Mm. That's like straight up Italian. That Italian flavor and seasoning, it hits you in such a good way. Oh, it's got fennel and basil and parmesan it it really is good the recipes and the food were delicious let's try the veggie bean chili with a spicy crema which is my favorite part I, that crema is delicious let's take a little nibble oh my goodness that is my favorite of the two recipes, that is my favorite. It is spicy in the best way it hits you. And then it just kind of stays in the back of your throat in that nice low heat. The poblanos flavor it. That crema is cool and spicy. The seasoning. Mm. That is a two bite dish, guys. Two bite. <laughs> okay. So. Taste test aside, the recipes were great, the ingredients were high quality, the shipping was fast, everything came, it was, it was great. My only qualm that I have with the whole experience of HelloFresh was the options on their website and the lack of, I guess, interest in their customers. Like it didn't have a survey or any kind of options where you could put in your own personal dietary preferences or needs. Like, it didn't ask about vegetarian. It didn't ask about keto or gluten-free. There was no like beginning survey. So once you did get into the recipes and picking your recipes, before you could even get into picking your recipes, you had to make a payment. So you couldn't even just log in, start an account, and then go through and see what your options were going to be. I know that may be to keep you from stealing the recipes, but even if they had just locked the recipes but showed you the picture of the recipe and the name of it so you could get an idea of what your options would be but no you had to make a payment before you could have access to anything so i made my shipping payment because i did get the offer and i really just had to pay for shipping um it made me pick two and as a vegetarian i had to go to their veggie section because i couldn't just tell them i'm a vegetarian and the options were slim slim like i could count all of their veggie recipes on both of my hands maybe just one. So I was really disappointed in that. Um, if you're a meat eater though, it's actually a really good deal. You get everything you need for some amazing recipes sent right to your door. So if you have a busy, fast paced life and you're looking for something that's convenient, but yet brings health, healthy foods and delicious foods, totally try HelloFresh. I, I mean, it's great for the meat eaters out there. For vegetarians and vegans, I don't think it's worth the money. I really don't. But the food is delicious, so if you get one of those cool offers in the mail like I did, try it out. If you want to see how the HelloFresh experience went, the unboxing and making of these delicious recipes, keep watching guys. Hey y'all. So here is the um, discount or voucher I received in the mail. I don't know how they got my information because it was straight up addressed to me to my address. But I was kind of excited at first and didn't care that they had gotten my address. You get one for you and then they want you to refer a friend. So this is what I used. I just went to the website and followed the instructions. It was pretty simple to set up. There are a few things that I did not like about the process, which I'll actually talk about a little bit later, but I just wanted you to see what I got in the mail. Hey y'all, I just got my HelloFresh box delivered. That's what it looks like, and I wanted to do a little unboxing so you guys could see exactly the whole process. So, this is the inside here. 
So I'm thinking this is the recipe card. Yep. There you go. Recipe card. Um, my coupon was for two meals, so they required that I pick two meals for the shipment. So the first one I picked was loaded bean and veggie chili. And the second one was for pasta parmesan. And let's see, looks like we got a bunch of like coupons and goodies. Let's see. Yeah, some more special offers. And then we have, oh, free sample. I actually really love these. I buy them all the time anyway, so that's kind of a plus. All right, so some kind of awesome protection packaging. Oh, it's heavy, guys. Okay, I may have to sit you down. Okay, so this is in the box. I live in North Dakota, so this refrigerated thing came from New York. So I hope everything survived. I do live in the middle of nowhere. I'm up at the very tippity top. So this is the first bag here. So it looks like it's um, backed up by recipe. So this is the pasta parmesan. And then in here we should have the chili. Oh my gosh. Yep, so loaded bean and veggie chili. It's squishy. Don't forget about ingredients that may be hiding under the ice. Oh, that's cool. Okay, okay so that's a giant ice pack. All right, so that's empty. Recycle me. That's cool. I love that. I recycle and I try to live plastic free, but well, it doesn't always work so well. So there's our little bags. Um, each is sectioned off by recipe. Hey y'all, so it's time to open up our recipe bag for the loaded bean and veggie chili. See what we've got in here. Okay, so we've got some scallions it looks like. There we go. And a beautiful poblano. I, got, I have to smell it guys, sniff test. Oh yeah. Okay. We've got some diced tomatoes, some tomato paste, some, I don't know, it just says veggie and it's squishy, so <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, we've got some sour cream. We've got a adorable little packet of hot sauce. Actually, this is one of my favorite brands of hot sauce, so I'm happy with that. Little bag of shredded cheese. Oh, and a cute little box of kidney beans. Mm, so cute. Okay, moving on. Have half a cup of jasmine rice, which I'm actually not going to be cooking um, because I don't eat rice, but my roommate does, so I'll be giving that to her. We've got Mexican seasoning, Southwest spice blend, and an onion. That is what is inside our recipe bag. I'm going to get everything set up and ready in our prep station and then I'll get back to you. Okay y'all, it's time to get going on the chili. We're gonna start by getting our onions and our peppers into a medium sauce pot with a little bit of olive oil in there. There we go. Yes. Okay. So we're gonna let these cook four to six minutes or until they are softened and then we'll be back for the next step, guys. Okay guys, it's time to finish up step three, which is adding in the tomato paste and the spices and then some salt and pepper. So we've got the tomato paste here and I've got it open. So we're just going to get it in there. We wanna add a little salt and pepper. And then we 
want to put in the prepackaged spice mix. We've got the Mexican seasoning. And then we've got the Southwest Spice Blend. Then we just want to mix all of this up. We want to add the diced tomatoes. Ooh. A fragrant steam bath. Okay, I'm going to just get that stirred up. Yes. Oh, it is smelling so delicious. I love Southwest Spice. Oh, it just hit you. Okay, so the recipe calls for um, three-fourths cups of water, and I'm going to actually use it um, inside the tomato box just so that I'm getting more tomato flavor while also getting my liquid content. So we've got that added. I just want to mix it up really nicely. There we go. So we moved on to step four. We got our diced tomatoes in, and now we need to go ahead and add our beans. Woo! Box down. And it says to keep them in their juices, so we're going to keep them in their juices. We want to get all of our little beans out. Bring them all to the party. So we'll get that mixed up here. And then the last step in this step is adding this little veggie thing, which I figured out what it is. Um, it doesn't say it on the package, but it's um, vegetable stock concentrate. So we want to get that right on in there. It doesn't really smell like anything, guys. Okay, so we're gonna stir that up, and according to our step four, we are going to bring it to a boil and then reduce it to a simmer for 18 minutes. Why is that not zooming? Here we go. So we will bring this to a boil, let it simmer for 18 minutes, and I will check back with you. Hey, y'all, so while our chili is Finishing up, we're going to move on to step five. We're going to make our crema, crema, whatever you like. So we're going to put the sour cream into a bowl. Squeeze that sucker right on in there. And then we're going to put half of the hot sauce in there. That's probably a little bit more, but you know, I like it spicy. Oh, that's delicious. So, we're going to mix this up and then add in just a little bit of water at a time until it comes to the right consistency. A little taste test. Oh, that's good. That is good, guys. I like that consistency. I could definitely dollop that on my chili for a nice little zing. So that is done. Our chili is bubbling away. I'll be back as soon as it's ready. Okay guys, it's time for the reveal. We're not going to go by this picture because I did not cook the rice. So we are going to go by that one. So did I get it close to that stage? Dun 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 dun. I think I did. Smells really good and I'm excited to try it and if you're watching to this point you've already seen me try it so you know more than I know. That's it for this one guys. Hey y'all. Okay so let's go ahead and get this HelloFresh recipe started. I've got my recipe card here for the pasta parmesan. It lists out, whoo, shaky. It lists out the ingredients here and then it has step-by-step -step instructions for the recipe on the back. 
So before we start that, we're going to open up our recipe bag and get our prep station set up. Okay. Here we go. Let's see what we have in our goodie bag. So we've got a little adorable bag of pasta. We have Parmesan cheese, panko breadcrumbs, we have an adorable ball of mozzarella, mozzarella, we've got a box of marinara, again, it's stinking cute. We have a frozen, because I live in the tundra and it had to come a really long way, frozen bottle of basil oil. So I'll have to do some defrosting. Um, we have an extremely cold yellow pepper. An onion. We've got two little cloves of garlic and a little seasoning packet. So there's our little prep for our pasta parmesan recipe. Now that we've got the prep going, we'll start following the steps on our recipe. Hey y'all, all right, so we're back and we've got our little prep station here. See how well it matches their prep station. Pretty good, I think. Pretty good. So I also got my pasta over on the stove. Once it's done and we've got all the ingredients in the stages that HelloFresh wants us to start in, I'll be back. Okay, y'all, it's time to get this recipe going. So if we're following our HelloFresh recipe, we have stages one and two done. We've got our prep and our pasta cooking. So we are gonna go ahead and move to step three, which is getting our veggies cooking. So we're going to start in our medium skillet that has olive oil. And we're going to start with our bell pepper. Go ahead and get that in there. Perfecto. So we are going to let our bell peppers cook for six minutes and then we will be back to continue with our veggies. Okay y'all we are back and it is time to add our garlic and our onion. Get those into the pan with our bell pepper. And we want to season with some salt and some pepper. Get that stirred up here. We're going to cook these for three to five minutes just until the onion is nice and soft. So I will see you guys back. Guys, I forgot we're supposed to put a little bit of the seasoning that's provided. There you go. So we're gonna do that now. And we are also going to move on to step four of our recipe, right there, which is basically just get everything in the pot. So we're going to do that. I'm going to add in our drained pasta, we're going to add in our marinara sauce, there we go, Get that all mixed up. Oh, guys, it is starting to smell like an Italian diner in here. Woo! Okay. We also are supposed to keep and save some of the pasta liquid, and we are going to put in a half a cup of that. Okay. So after you've got your pasta liquid in there, just go ahead and give that a nice stir. Step Four says, once you've got that, finish putting in your seasoning. 
Okay, so now once you have everything in the pan, we're going to let it cook together for four minutes and then we will come back and move to step five. Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and add half of the Parmesan according to our recipe. That was more than half, guys. And then salt and pepper at this stage. This recipe's got me a little confused, but we are doing what it says. Okay, so then you just stir this up. There we go. And according to our recipe here, this is the stage where we need to transfer our pasta into a baking dish if we were not using <laughs> dogs. If we were not using an oven safe um, pan, which I was not. I don't actually have an oven safe skillet. That would be awesome, but I don't. So I'm going to transfer it into this baking dish and I'll get back to you guys. Okay, y'all, so now we're going to get the topping ready. I put the rest of our Parmesan cheese in there. And then I'm going to put the panko that came with it. There. Okay. Alright, and then a little bit of olive oil. So you're going to go on a ride. Got to open up my cabinet. So a drizzle of olive oil. And we are supposed to stir that up. Set that aside and we're going to get our pasta and we're going to top it with the mozzarella. Okay, so just try to get it even. There we go. Okay. So we are on the finish and serve. So you're supposed to put it on the top rack and broil until... The panko and cheese and everything is brown and bubbly so we're gonna go ahead and pop it with our mixture so I'm gonna pop it under the broiler just until this starts to bubble and that turns brown and I'll be back guys okay y'all it's time for the big reveal how does what I did compare to the recipe dun 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 I think it looks pretty good it's it's pretty close to the recipe that's it guys. I think it looks pretty good, pretty close to the recipe. The big question is how does it taste? And if you've made it this far, you already know. So that's it for this one. Be sure to like and subscribe and don't forget to follow on social media and I'll see y'all in the next one. Hamlet, out of the kitchen. Sorry, had to get the dog out of the kitchen. Oh my gosh, one second. Okay. Put you right there. Get this. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. That was heavy. Okay. Ah, what is that? Why is it squishy? Oh. My bad, my bad. You guys are attached to my cabinet door and I need to get the door open so you're going for a ride.